The following review is going to be on Kingdom Voyager Dinobot. Stay tuned. Rodimus Bill here, and today we're going to review our last Wave 2 Kingdom figure. This is Voyager Dinobot. First, we'll take a look at the package as always. There is Dinobot in that small little plastic window. We've got a picture of Dinobot in his robot mode. It says Voyager class, and there he is in his uh, dinosaur mode. We got the Kingdom logo, Transformers Generations. <clears throat> there is the poster for the Kingdom. And then we got Robot to Dino in 28 steps. There is the Predacon symbol. But first he was a uh, Predacon, then a Maximal. WFCK18. And there is the UPC in case anybody wants it. Now let's crack this guy open and see what we've got. And first we're going to do is going to take a look at the card. Here it is. And you just slide these out real easy. And this particular card... If I can get it out, is the Ark. And there is the Autobot Ark. And then you peel the sticker back. And it is the Ark crashing. It looks like it's got a lot of damage. And they're just flying through space. And there's nothing on the back of this. So we'll just slide this in. Uh, and there's the golden disc on the back of the card. And then I also want to show you on the actual box, <clears throat> if you look on the bottom, that is the original Beast Wars Eye that was on all the Beast War figures and an old game I had. So that's a reminiscent of the original Beast Wars. And we're going to bring in Dinobot, the accessory, and we're going to look at the instruction booklet. <clears throat> Transformers Dinobot uh, 8 Plus, and let's see. Uh, that's how you put the weapon in it, in his hand, and then you got the instructions, and uh, more instructions, and there's the Dinobot. <clears throat> now, this doesn't say anything about fossilizing him, <clears throat> but you do have some fossilizer points, which we'll uh, discuss later. Now his only accessory is his tail, and what you can do, it's on a hinge, you can open the tail up, and there's some little detail inside, but you take the sword out, and you've got a purple tail, and here is the sword. Now, this sword, you can put in his hand, like that, and close his hand up, and you could put this in his other hand, like a shield. Or, you could just put the sword in here. It's got the um, cut in the groove on top, so you can slide this in. And there he is, like kind of with a crossbow. <clears throat> and that's his only weapon he's got. <clears throat> now, to get a good look at Dinobot, there is that good looking face. It's got a blue face. He's got red eyes. He's got the orange, <clears throat> and there's some black. And his face does a whole do 360, and it goes up and down pretty good. And then going down the chest, you've got the fake dinosaur eye on that side and the fake on the other side. So it looks like his uh, head's compressed. Here's the top of the dino. You got the orange shoulders coming down here. You got that cool texture. They've done a really good job on the texture. You got the fingers, and then come around here, you've got more of the Dinobot. He's got the gold waist right there. He's got more orange on the ball joint hips. You got the metallic orange going down. You got his knees. You got some pretty cool detailing on the knee parts. Very nice. You got some cool design here. Go down the foot. You got the orange heel. You got the brown foot. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Turn him around. Doesn't really have that much of a backpack. Just part of the tail. And he pretty much compacts, not really uh, any hollow spaces at all. <clears throat> and like I said before, and if you don't want him to have this, what you can do is just, it can still stick back here. So <clears throat> if you want to storm in your case like that, because sometimes, and like at least in my case, if a figure's got a sword or something, I can't 
fit them in, so I might do this with this guy. Now for articulation, <clears throat> again we saw the head move like that, and then the arm will do a whole 360. It will go out that much, and it'll even go up that. So you've got the upper bicep rotation, 360 degrees. You got 90 degrees elbow. <clears throat> One of the few figures that doesn't have elbow rotation. And the hand does 360 degrees. And there's two different joints for the fingers. You got that one, and you got that one, and all these three fingers move as one. So, other side, the same way. It goes out 90 degrees, all that good stuff. Waist, yep, 360 degree waist rotation. And then you go to the leg. Leg goes up, good 90 degrees. A lot of these don't go back. For some reason, they're not designed to. But he's got the full split. Um, you could do th upper thigh rotation, but it's, it's on a ball joint, so it's not really meant to. The knee, uh, wow, more, that'd be 90, so it's more than 90 degrees on the knee. And you got very good anchor tilt on the feet. They go up and down, and they rock side to side. So you could put them in all sorts of poses if you want. <clears throat> and we'll just give him his weapon. And uh, I, I do like the one weapon. So you could put it there, like that. <clears throat> and now he's all armored up. Now... Like I said, the only points he's got is he's got a 5mm slot there. And, of course, he's got one on the bottom. So you could do the, uh, let's get some blast effects real quick. We're just going to bring in some of uh, Skylinks's. So you got the little blast effects. They always have them on the feet. So it's like, whoosh, he can fly. And, uh... Of course, you could also fossilize them there. Uh, let's see, five millimeter point in the hand, like that. Uh, let's see, if he uses his weapon, you can do that. So that looks pretty cool. Or let's see, will they work on, no, they won't work on the tail. But will they work on this? Oh yeah, so you can even do this if you wanted to. Uh, let's see, there you go. Bloosh, as MGO would say. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Can you put one back here? There you go. Whoosh, he's got a jet pack. Okay, and that is it. We're gonna fossilize him somehow later on in the video. Oh, and as a side note, uh, if you wanna get this figure and many others, Make sure you click in the description for Big Bad Toy Store. Click that. I'll have the link in the description. Just click there. It'll go straight to Big Bad Toy Store and order him or any other figures you want. Okay, now, now we're going to do some comparisons. Now, for comparisons, let's bring in our only leader class right now, which is leader class Beast Megatron. And then we're going to bring in... Voyager Cyclonus and Voyager Optimus Primal. Now these are all Voyager sizes and he's in the middle. He's taller than Optimus Primal and shorter than Cyclonus. And we're going to bring in his Deluxe Wave 1, Cheetor, Paleotrex, and we got Black Arachnia. <clears throat> so we got all these guys. And then we're going to bring in the Wave 1 Core class, we got Vertebrake, Optimus, and Rat Trap. Here we go, that's how those guys fit. Now we're going to bring in Wave 2. Unfortunately, we don't have no leader class because it was Ultra Magnus, so we didn't get them. So we got Ractonite, we've got Air Razor, and we've got Warpath. And we've got Huffer. So we've got a couple non-Beast War figures in this line, which is nice. They're mixing it up. And that is Wave 2. And then we're going to bring in Wave 2 Core Class. we got Megatron and Starscream. 
Now, his name is Dinobot. So what we're going to do is bring in Dinobot Sludge G1. Yes, that is the original from 1985 or 84. And then we're going to bring in Leader Class Dinobot Leader Grimlock from the Studio Series. So we've got a Dinobot, we got the Dinobot, and we've got a Dinobot. And I think that's it for Robot to Robot comparisons. Now let's transform Dinobot. Okay, now to transform him, you want to take out the weapon, put that to the side. And now we're just going to, let's see, spread his feet out. And then you rotate this up, and then hinge all this up like that. So rotate this up, hinge this up like that, and then you want to come here. Now this little tab and that little groove, it's not going to tab in, but it just sits in there. And let's get these hands out of the way, like that. <clears throat> now let's untab this and pull this out so we can move this whole thing sideways. So now that you got that, what you want to do is these rotate up like that and then you rotate this one like that then what you want to do <clears throat> let's put the feet flat in there so there we're getting the feet done and this will bring this over here bring that down and this tab will go into that slot there <clears throat> now he's halfway done so let's do the um, the bottom <clears throat> Rotate the waist, 180, okay? And then here we're gonna fold in these, fold in these, open these up, open these up. Now we're just gonna bend the knees until they can't bend no more. Bend the knees so they can't bend no more. Now get these together. Now, you've got a tab here and a tab here and slots here on the legs, so. You want to bring these up, and that's going to fit in there. And then the other leg, you got that tab, and that fits in there, that fits in there. And on this, <clears throat> you got these tabs here, you're going to put them right in the middle here. Reminds me of the Studio Series Hot Rod. So, what we're going to do is we got one one foot and two feet let's put this back together there now we can move these up and that is about good for now so we got these tabs kinda <laughs> right there so, then you can bring these legs straight down, straight down, move this, move this, and then just fix them up. <clears throat> legs are doing pretty good. I don't know why mine don't snap in, but they don't. Fix that. There we go. And then untab the hands, because these tab in. Uh, let's see, rotate that guy sideways. Push the head up, open the mouth, uh, and then you can pose him <clears throat> and his tail. Again, you can close up, make that in there tight, close the tail, <clears throat> that goes in here, and now you have Dinobot in his dinosaur mode. And he's not a bad looking Dinobot, <clears throat> maybe a Velociraptor. But, uh, all right, he's got a red mouth. First, actually, since we're dealing with the mouth, I wonder if, um, no, there's nothing in the mouth to put uh, a blast effect. Nope, but they did paint the tongue red, the teeth are white, and you've got some detailing in the mouth. You actually got white <laughs> eyes with, um, a black eyeball, you got nice sharp teeth, 
you got that cool texture going all the way around here. They've done a really good job with the texturing. All right, so we've got the eyes. Yes, you do see these orange. I mean, you can't hide his robot parts. They just stick out because they're orange. There's the hand. You got all the scale, the scaly hand. And then, uh, let's see, these rotate out. They rotate like that. And then you can't, so you can move the hand, and then you can move the elbow like that and the other hand too you can move this 360 degrees the hands go 360 but they are 90 degrees molded in you can't do much about that underside you got that gray then he's all robot there but then you come to the feet you got more scaling on the feet there's the fake eyeball and some blue you got that velociraptor the stripes the gray versus the like bluish gray I guess uh, then you got some over here. You got the striping and the striping on top of the leg and the striping stops and you got the tails all one color. And then you get to the very tip and it's purple. <clears throat> and yes, you can do that, I guess. And uh, let's see, bottom of the feet, <clears throat> if you wanted to, he could be a jumping dinosaur. Whoosh like that but I wonder if that's uh, five million oh these are five millimeter pegs too and that's about it for his velociraptor mode and he's not that bad I mean the orange kind of sticks out there and you can see his feet back here but all in all <clears throat> Dinobot looks pretty cool it's got the gray there I mean you got the striping Oh, and the easiest way, let's see, oh, articulation, the legs won't move, but you can move the knee back and forth, and you can rotate the ankle, and then, of course, these move, front move, talons move, back talons move, and unfortunately, this is locked in, but you can't move this, so, I mean, you could put him in not too much poses, but he is a little posable. And then the easiest way I do it from this is I push down on the back here and you can open his mouth. Because if you try, there's really no way of doing it. The easiest way is just like that. He opens his mouth. There you go. And I kind of wish there was a way you could put that in there, but there, he's breathing fire, <clears throat> even though it's just stuck in there. And that is it for his Velociraptor Dino Mode. And um, I like it. I mean, for Voyager size, he's not that bad. Compared to some of the other ones, I'll take Dinobot as a, as a Voyager class. Now let's compare him with some of the other alt modes. And our first alt mode comparison is we're going to bring in Leader Class Beast Megatron. So that is how those two guys look like. And then we're going to bring in Wave 1. We've got Paleotrex, Cheetor, Black Arachnia, we've got Rat Trap, and we've got Vertebrae. So that is our Wave 1 uh, Beast War figures. <clears throat> And then we're going to bring in our Voyagers. We've got Cyclonus. And we've got Optimus Primal. So that is how all the Voyagers line up. And now we're on Wave 2. We're going to bring in a Ractonite. And one of my favorites, Air Razor. So we got the three dinosaurs. Well, he's not really a dinosaur. He's a bird. But our three v uh, animal modes. Then we're going to bring in Deluxe Huffer and Deluxe Warpath. <clears throat> now these are Deluxes compared to the Voyager size. And now we're going to bring in Dinobot Sludge, which is equivalent to an old Deluxe figure. And Studio Series 86 Meg, uh, Grimlock. So that is how those guys compare. Now let's transform this guy back to a robot. Now, to go back into robot, we're going to remove the tail weapon. Then what we're going to do, we're going to 
take the legs and we're going to split them up like that. <clears throat> and then these little tab, the, these tab in, so we're just going to untab one leg and bring it down. And let's untab the other leg. There, there we go. And bring this down. <clears throat> Get these out of the way. Now we're going to close this up. Close this up. Straighten the leg out, straighten the leg out, and then foot, and heel, foot, and heel, and now we can work on the top. So we're going to work on the top now. I think first we're going to do is, well, let's get these hands folded up. There's a tab right there. and each hand has a little tab in it so we're just gonna uh, tab that hand and we're gonna tab the other hand um, okay <clears throat> now I'm gonna turn it around oh rotate the entire waist like that and so now we got that front <clears throat> and this is all facing front Okay, we're going to put the head down. Again, there is that little spring-loaded neck, which is pretty cool. We're going to do that. And then we're going to bring right, the head. So now what you want to do is fold this up like this. And you want to snap this back here. It'll snap in like that. There's a little groove right here, and also this tab goes into that peg or that slot, and that snapped in. And then this we'll put there. Now you have the tab right here. We'll go into the slot right there. So now we're getting down to the final. Oops. And then just put the arms. We gotta put the arms up here. See how the folded here, so you want to pull these up. Now you want to take this and rotate these forward. These are the fake eyes. And then you just want to close them here, like that. And then what you're going to do is you have like a little tab here. So when these rotate in, there's going to be a little slot there. They won't snap in, but they'll just sit right in there. Okay, and then this, you've got two tabs here, and you got the two slots back here. So this is tabbed in, and that is tabbed in. So you want to rotate the shoulders, pull them down. Rotate the shoulders, pull the hands down, get the hands all situated, and then rotate them. Oh no, that's good. There you go. You rotate the hand. Rotate the hand. And now you're back to Dinobot. And just straighten them out. So it's always good to keep all the hollow stuff to the back. And that is our Dinobot. There we go. And then you can give him his weapon. <clears throat> well, let's see. We'll put the weapon in here. Come on. There, the weapon in here, and then put that. And now Dinobot's got his weapon. Now, let's try to fossilize him with other fossilizers. And here we have Dinobot all fossilized with Paleotrex and rack tonight. Now I was able to use the peg on the very bottom of that and use rack tonight's whole body to swing these upper weapons around and I got the blast effects here so there's two guns here this could be a third gun you've got the shield on one hand you got his weapon in the other hand he's got a little height using Paleotrex's feet and then here's Paleotrex's head and 
part of Paleo Treks for another gun. So he is compatible with the fossilizers. What you gotta do is you just gotta be very creative, especially when they only have them for the legs. They don't have any, they never had the um, any five millimeter ports for the arms, which they could have easily stuck one right there. But that is, I've got Dinobot using Paleotrex and Ractonite to fossilize them. Now they all have the little five millimeter ports in the bottom of the feet, <clears throat> and a lot of them have them in their legs. But this is just how I decided to do Dinobot. And again, I'm back to normal. You just take these off. Uh, let's see, take these off. Again, five millimeter ports in the legs. And there. All right, and that about sums up this review for the Dinobot Voyager figure from uh, Kingdom Wave 2. So make sure you like, subscribe, again, check out the uh, Big Bad Toy Store, check out uh, my other videos, check out my playlists, all that good stuff, and you can find me on a lot of the Facebook Transformer groups like Addicts, Generation 1, why won't he stand, and uh, all that good stuff. Now we're just waiting on Kingdom Wave 3 to come out. There you go. Oh. Come on, stand up. There we go. There is Dinobot. All right, so uh, that's about it for this review. All right, so Rodimus Bill saying Dinobot out.